Two works for you in the community. We have been collecting jars of peanut butter all day long here at the station in Tulsa's Brookside neighborhood. Happening now, two news anchor Russ McCaskey and meteorologist Brittany Rainey are live in front of our studio. Hi, guys. Aaron, you know, obviously this is a very big day. It's an important time of year as kids start to head back to school, and we want to make sure that kids have food on their table, and peanut butter is one of the things that people need. Exactly, and it's very nutritious. It's delicious. It keeps you full for very long. It stays good for a very long time, and if you can't drop off peanut butter, you can always bring some money. Yeah, because that can help as well. I want to bring in Eileen Bradshaw with the uh, Community Food Bank of Eastern Oklahoma, our partner in this. Uh, first off, let's talk about why peanut butter. One of the donors just said it best. She said everybody young or old likes peanut butter. So it is universal, it's shelf stable, it's a good source of protein, and it's something that our partner programs are always asking for. And uh, we've had a pretty good response today. We've been this out is here amazing. all amazing. It was such a pleasant surprise. This is awesome. Yeah, really. usually, usually we're out here, it is pretty cold when we've done some other events. This is a nice day to be out here and a great opportunity for the public to be able to provide something for kids. It's wonderful. You can stop in on your grocery shopping, drop off a can, a jar, and it goes right out to somebody who needs it. Eileen, thanks. I want to bring in uh, two news reporter Will and, and Will, tell us a little bit about what you've been looking into today. Well, people fall on hard times and the food bank really helps out when they need it. So donations like peanut butter are very critical right now. Pork and beans. Some Which, months, Brittany Wiles says anyone. it's hard for her family to make ends meet, stuff, um, even though her husband has a job guns. with a three month old baby at home. It's OK. She sometimes has to go to one of the food pantries supported by the Community Food Bank of Eastern Oklahoma to put something on the table. If I just need some meat or some milk, even if it's just the little stuff, I, I use it. I have to. It's, sometimes you just need it. During the past few years, the food bank says the need keeps rising, particularly among children. The food bank now distributes 5,500 backpacks filled with food to schools each week. There is a big need in our community, and we're just so grateful for everybody helping us fill that need. Edison Preparatory School in Midtown began providing students with backpacks four years ago. About 30 students needed the service then, and now... We have about 60 or 70 students that participate in the program. Administrators do not see the need going down anytime soon. Mike. So Brittany hopes people will keep giving to help families like hers. Well, it's important to note that donations are going to end up in food pantries all across Green Country and in students' backpacks. So all these donations are very needed right now. They really they are. They go a long way. They do. And if you don't have a jar of peanut butter, just $1 can provide four meals for one person. So that's going a long way. Absolutely. And it's, gonna, it's a lot of fun out here as well. So if you have an opportunity, please stop by and help give back to the community. As we said, as kids go back to school, we want to make sure the kids are able to have good uh, food, uh, nutrition at night, as well as in the morning as well. Let's go in depth now, take a look at some of the numbers behind this. And we can tell you that one in four children in Oklahoma struggle with hunger. That according to a 2011 report. And hunger in Oklahoma is an upward trend. The USDA has determined that 16.4% of Oklahoma households experience food insecurity. That from back in 2010. And it's not going away anytime soon. The economy though it has picked up is still it's a struggle for a lot of people and so it's very very important that people who can give back do and we're providing that opportunity again we're going to be out here till six o'clock nations uh let's send it back to you karen all right thank you russ